Anastasia, and today we are going to go over what an overcast stitch is and how to use it. Have you guys seen my Patreon page? I have some really cool limited edition t-shirts and tote bags. I'm doing a tote bag of the month and a t-shirt of the month club. So check it out. Get on over to Patreon. And make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia so you can check out all of my other videos when they come out. And hit the notification button and it'll let you know when they're here. This is another stitch in my stitch book playlist. So if you want to see all the other stitches in the stitch book, check out the link below. What is an overcast stitch? Well, you can use it a few different ways. One way you can use it is to finish the edge of your fabric so it doesn't fray and unravel when you're washing it. Another thing you can do with it is sew two pieces of fabric together to create a seam and finish the edge at the same time. So cool. So now let's go over to the sewing machine and give that overcast a whirl. Today I'm going to be using the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 980Q. But you can use any sewing machine as long as you have the overcast stitch and the overcast foot. The first thing we're going to do is grab our J foot. It's got a little J on the end of it. And you can see how the back has a little bar. Now we're going to take that and pop that onto our machine. And now we're ready to stitch. Next, we need to select our stitch, which conveniently is on the front screen. It says seam slash overcast. Go ahead and touch it and it'll pop up on the screen. I'm going to sew two pieces of fabric together with the overcast stitch. Go ahead and line up the edge of your fabric with the inner edge of your J foot. Notice how the edge of the stitch is binding the edge of the fabric, which is perfect. You're not going to have a frayed edge now. Notice our nice overcast stitch on the edge of our fabric. Notice how we have a straight seam and these barred stitches overlapping the edge. So we've sewn together a seam and we're preventing the edge from fraying. So if we flip it over, you can notice we have a really nice strong seam. The second way to use the overcast stitch is to just finish the edge of the fabric. So I'm going to go all the way around my square with the overcast stitch so my edges don't fray. Look at how beautiful our overcasting looks. We have a seam with the overcasting stitch and we have finished the edge of our square with an overcasting stitch. The threads are not going to be leaving the square of fabric. Thanks so much for watching Sew Anastasia today. I hope you had fun learning about the overcast stitch. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, make sure you follow me on Instagram at so Anastasia and Anastasia Chatska. If you're in Chicago, stop by the studio, take a sewing class, or I'd love to make you a custom garment. And don't forget about the awesome Patreon page we just started. And join me on TikTok for little mini tutorials. Also, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. It's the most important so you can stay up to date with all these amazing tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.